Today we're going to look at multiplication and division with decimals. If we're asked to do a calculation like 0, 0,3 times 1, 2, it's a bit tricky. Mainly the decimal commas is what's in the way. We don't know what to do with them. So I'm going to make have a little cheat, get rid of the decimal commas, and then put them back at the end. So to get rid of the decimal comma from 0, 0,3, I need to multiply it by 10, and I'll get 3. To get rid of the decimal comma from 1, 2, I need to multiply this also by 10, and I'll get 12. Now it's very easy for me to calculate 3 times 12. I get my answer of 36. But this isn't the answer to the sum that I want because I cheated. I multiplied by 10 and I multiplied by 10. So in order to get me back to the correct answer, I need to divide by 10 and divide by 10. In other words, make up for those two cheats that I made. Well, if I take 36 and I divide by 10 and I divide by 10, my decimal comma goes over there, and the answer to this question is 0, 0,36. Can you see, ignoring the comma in each of these cases was like moving to the right, moving to the right. So when we get our answer, we've moved two spaces. So once we've got our answer, we need to move those two spaces back to correct for the little cheat we did. And so that's where we get our 0, 0,36 from. Let's do another example. If we needed to do, oh, pen please, 0, 0,02 times 2, 3. Again, I'm going to cheat, get rid of those decimal places. So in other words, I'm going to multiply this by 100, moving 2 to the right. Multiply this by 10, moving 1 to the right. And I'm going to get 2 times 23, which is 46. But that isn't the answer I wanted, because I've cheated by multiplying by 100 and multiplying by 10. So in order to correct for it, I need to divide by 100 and divide by 10. So I take my 46, I divide by 100, and I divide by 10. My decimal comma goes there, and I put my zeros in place. Can you see? You can just quite easily look at it and see the little cheat moved 2 and 1. In other words, it moved 3 to the right. So when we get our final answer, we need to make up for our cheating of moving 3 to the right by reversing it and moving 3 back to the left, which is where we got our 0, 0,046 from. So there, our calculations for multiplication are very easy. To do division is even easier. If we want to calculate 1, 2 and divide it by 0, 3, we just rewrite this as a fraction. In other words, 1, 2 divide by 0, 3. Our focus is going to be on getting a whole number at the bottom of the fraction. So in order to turn 0, 3 into a whole number, we multiply by 10. Now this is where it gets much easier than the multiplication examples because with a fraction we know what we multiply the bottom by. If we multiply the bottom and the top by exactly the same thing, we don't change anything at all. So if we multiply the top of the fraction also by 10, we've got the same calculation. So 1, 2 over 0, 3 gives us the same answer as 12 over 3, and 12 over 3 is easy to calculate. That answer is 4. Let's do one last example. If I wanted to do 0, 0, 0,018 and divide it by 0, 0,6, again, I'm simply going to write this as a fraction. Rules for fractions tell me if I multiply top and bottom of the fraction by the same thing, I won't change anything. I'm going to focus here on making sure I have a whole number at the bottom because it's easy for me to do the division then. So to get a whole number at the bottom, I'm going to multiply by 10 and I'll then also multiply the top by 10. 
So this is exactly the same as 0, 0,18 divided by 6. And if I take 6 and divide it into 0, 0,18, 6 goes into 0, no times. 6 goes into 1, no times. Remainder 1. 6 goes into 18, 3 times. And I get my answer of 0, 0,03.